Hey guys, I hope you're ready for five days of extreme cleaning motivation. I'm going to be cleaning my entire house, so lots of whole house cleaning motivation, lunch packing station, I'm going to be sharing my DIY deodorizer, and lots of real life mom life cleaning. So let's get ready and let's do this together. friends, welcome to Jamie's journey. How are you doing? Now, typically when I ask that question, like I'm always curious what you guys have to say. And I'd say a lot of times I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to be open and honest with you right now. It's been a rough week. I'll get into that when we talk about good week, bad week, high point, low point to the week. I'll share all of that later. It has been a doozy of a week. Very crazy, but I'm hanging in there trying to turn this week around, but I hope you're doing well. And I just want you to know that I appreciate that you're here, whether it's for a minute, 30 seconds, the whole video, you're amazing. And I am so grateful to have you as a part of this community. So I hope you guys are ready. We're going to be doing whole house cleaning. So five days of cleaning all of the rooms in my house. It took me five days, but that is okay. It's a marathon, not a sprint. You're never timed on anything. So whole house cleaning. I'm going to be doing some lunch packing stations. I'm going to be creating that in my um, refrigerator for easy lunch packing ideas and systems. So a lot we're going to be doing today. Let's get ready. I do want to throw out that the sweater slash sweatsh sweatshirt that I'm wearing here, it's pretty oversized. It's from Walmart. I love it. It's perfect for this transitional period. I mean, I think we're going to hit 100 today. So we're, exp or we're experiencing record-breaking heat. Um, so it is really hot, but it's still a little bit cool in the, the house. Um, but it's kind of cooling off in the evening. So this is perfect for this time of the year. I'll have it linked below love Walmart clothes. But anyways, here um, the girls were watching a movie in the basement. Mike was, well, they were watching a movie eating popcorn in the basement. So Mike was down there helping them clean that up and then they were going to go up and get ready for bed. And I was just picking up, cleaning things up and just trying to get everything situated before it was time for bed.
So this is the Jaws cream cleanser I was going to use to scrub my sink. Today's video is sponsored by Jaws and if you guys have been around for any length of time, you know I love Jaws. I use their cleaning products in every single video and so it's just I'm very grateful to work with them. I don't know if you guys know but their headquarters is also in my hometown so it's really cool to have cleaning products that I love but also you know give back to the local community so i'll talk more about them later if you guys are interested but here i was going to pack a lunch so i'm creating a lunch packing station in our fridge on day i think day two you're gonna see me do that so sometimes avery wants like a specific thing she wants it in her bento box she wants to kind of snack for a lunch if that makes sense like not snacks but she just wants something or just like a little bit of everything and then other times she just wants your regular regular old turkey sandwich or peanut butter and jelly sandwich chips fruit vegetable like a very basic lunch so just gives her a couple different options but here i was just doing a turkey sandwich and pretzels ranch some greek yogurt which we've been adding sprinkles to sprinkles makes everything better um and some cucumbers and yeah So here when I was done wiping everything down, I was going to make my DIY deodorizer and I'm switching it up because of the time of the year and adding some pumpkin spice. So I have the recipe. I'll have it as a text overlay here in a minute. So there's the recipe. It's also linked in the video's description, but it's super e easy water, alcohol, and then five to 10 drops or whatever of your favorite essential oils. Um, I just go with the Walmart Better Homes and Gardens um, fragrance oil and I got the pumpkin spice because it's almost fall even though I haven't decorated for fall. Honestly, I will decorate for fall. It's just kind of like the a lot of the de fall decorations we had in the old house were to balance out the warmer colors in our house because we had very warm colors throughout the house. Now we have more cooler tones and so I don't know how many of those fall decorations were work in this house. I am going to pull those up here maybe in the next week or so. Our, our storage area where our fall decorations are, you guys, is a literal disaster. So I'm not looking forward to digging those out. Um, I don't know. I just think that I think this year I'll probably just see what works, make, make do this year, and then maybe next year tackle more decorating, put more into it. But this year I'm just feeling like let's see what will work I don't really want to buy anything um, like if something it just seems perfect if I'm out at the store but I'm really not planning on doing anything too crazy let's try to see what works and then we'll go from there
So this was another morning. The girls were hanging out. We had a slow morning and then they had a preschool preview day where they were going to spend some time with their classmates. So I had a little bit of time to get stuff done. It's go time. All right, I was ready to get moving, ready to get grooving, and I wanted to tackle the refrigerator. I was just going to clean it out, restock, but also create a lunch packing station. This has been really helpful in past years because either Avery can, Avery or the twins can pack their own lunches, mainly Avery because she's the one who eats at school, but the twins can pick out their own lunch items. And also Avery takes a snack to school every single day. The twins are constantly asking for snacks. So in addition to these lunch packing station bins, I also create a snack bin. And so when they ask constantly for a snack, I say, okay, go grab one out of the bin. And they like it because they get to choose what snack they get. So there's some choice in there, but I control what goes in the bin and that has been game changing for us in the past. So that is what I'm gonna be tackling. And so what I did was I removed everything and then I was going to wipe out the fridge shelves I was going to use the Jaws multi-purpose cleaner, and so I already had the bottle. I just needed to pop in a new pod. The Jaws cleaners are my go-to everyday cleaners. I literally use them every single day, and it's nice because I just had to grab a pod stored from under the sink, refill the bottle to the water fill line, and then pop in a pod, and I have my cleaner. They are safe cleaners, and they are effective and affordable. You can get this entire kit. This is the, their ultimate cleaning kit. When you use my coupon code for 25% off, you can get all of this for $37. They also have a back to school kit and it's almost sold out. So it comes with a caddy that is perfect for the pods. So with the back to school kit, you get four microfiber cloths, their multi-purpose cleaner, glass cleaner, disinfectant, foaming bathroom, two refill pods for each cleaner, free shipping and a free gift. When you use my code, it all comes out to just $40. That's a lot for $40. Like I said, they're almost sold out. So go make sure you check that out right now. So before I went and wiped everything out, I wanted to clean the fruit so it would be ready to go when I was done wiping out the fridge. And I just dumped in a little bit of white distilled vinegar and baking soda to get all of the pesticides off and let it clean. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a few minutes. But if you're not f familiar with JAWS, it stands for Just Add Water Systems. So the cleaners come with a reusable spray bottle and then with refill pods and mixed together, it is a powerful concentrate. So you, when mixed with water, the pods create a cleaning product that are effective and they clean without streaking or leaving a residue behind. When your spray bottle is empty, you just simply refill it with water, reload it with another pod Pod and reuse it. I've been using them for three and a half years and they are my go-to everyday cleaners. Jaws mission is to eliminate single-use plastic bottles. Their bottles are designed to be reused and the refill pods as well as their bottles are recyclable, reducing plastic in landfills. The Jaws glass cleaner, kitchen, hardwood, shower, granite, and foaming bathroom all meet the EPA Safer Choice standard. Their multi-purpose cleaner is currently going through the process to meet those standards. So they are safe, they're effective, and they're amazing. That's why I've been using them. Like go back through any video in the past three and a half years, I guarantee you've seen me use their products. I use them every day. So you can get 25% off your order by using my link and coupon code in the description. It's Jamie25. Go to the JAWS website, link is in the description, use my coupon code. They have a cleaning wand that you're gonna see me use later on in the video. Their cream cleanser is great, so a lot of different options. Great, safe cleaning products. Go check it out in the description. And thanks to JAWS for being an amazing company and always supporting my channel.
Okay, so this is the quote-unquote lunch packing station that I'm creating. So um, not only is this great for lunch packing, so what I, I did this for the first time last year. So I have this one bin of extra side items, I guess, and then I'll create one with sandwiches. So Avery will pick, pick one, one sandwich, pick um, the other long skinny container will have fruit and vegetables. So that will be pick two, a fruit and a vegetable. So she'll have a sandwich every day, fruit, vegetable, and then she can pick something out of um, this container or two things. Um, and sometimes I just do the bento box. It just depends on what she's feeling. But here's why this lunch packing station is also great. And it's not necessarily just for packing lunches. There are some evenings when Mike and I just decided last minute, we're like, all right, we're, we just want to order some food in, or we're making something that we know the kids won't like. Sometimes it's like, oh, let's just grab a turkey sandwich or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and give that to them. Something really easy and simple. Or sometimes, you know, when they want a snack, why I like these bins, specifically the bigger ones. And you're going to see me this, do this in the pantry. I also make a snack bin in the pantry, kind of like I did here in the refrigerator. It's, you know, when the kids are constantly asking for snacks, the twins are only in school three days a week for a couple of hours. So they're always asking for snacks. Avery's asking for snacks after school and she has to pack a snack for school as well because she doesn't eat lunch until 1245. So because of this, what I like is I create these bins and when they ask, can I have a snack? I say, go grab one out of that bin, like with the yogurt and the cheese stick and the bars and applesauce. And I do the same in the pantry. You'll see me do that. And this is nice because it gives them options. They feel like they have some control because they can choose whatever they want out of that bin, but I control what goes in the bin. So it's kind of a win-win and there's just less fights all around for packing lunches, snacks, um, even like meal times. If they're like, oh, I'm still hungry, I say go grab something out of the bin. So having these quote unquote snack bins, they can also be great for that. So even if you're not packing lunches, um, worth thinking about. And like I said, the twins, so they come home for lunch. They won't have lunch at school. So this is also for me when we get home because they get out, it'll be right. It's like noon. So by the time we get home, we get settled. It's they're, they're ready to eat. So it's just nice to have already something ready to go. Honestly, something that I want to try to implement this year is I also got them bento boxes because them being four, they're at that age where it's like really cool to have a lunch bat box and like backpack and all of that because I saw big sister do it so I got them their own and I probably won't do it every single day that they have school but I do want to start packing their lunches and kind of create our own routine we walk in the door and I say okay girls go grab your you know your lunch box um, and they grab it and they know to go sit down and eat um, like I want to create like a good routine for them. They thrive in a routine. I thrive in a routine. And it also will free up some of my time. Like if I have something like some editing that I have to do or something like that, I think it'll just make the whole afternoon go more smooth. So um, yeah, that's what I've started to do. And then here is the snacks that I'm going to use for the pantry. I had place an order with Thrive Market. So I was using those and some other items to pack up this pantry snack bin.
it is so satisfying when you see all of those things that are unpackaged and you can get rid of it all and just kind of sprucing up your pantry or your fridge like you don't need to go crazy you don't need all these perfect organizers but just going through and getting rid of the excess things that maybe have expired getting rid of a lot of boxes can really help and let you focus on what you have and what you need to use up so I was not planning on doing this today, but I had about 10 minutes left before I had to get the girls. I popped into this bathroom and it was a mess. I told you in the beginning of this video, I'm sharing lots of real life and mom life messes because when I look at this, there was a shirt behind the door. I think Emery was wearing this shirt like three days ago. So that shirt had been there for three days. There was empty toilet paper rolls on the floor, toothpaste all over. You know, these are messes that we're always working on always working on with the kids, but their kids, messes are gonna happen. So I was cleaning up those messes. cleaning today. Mike has the twins at lunch, took them on a little lunch break date since it's their last week at home. So what I'm going to try to do while they're gone for this hour, probably they'll probably be gone like an hour and a half. I want to try to do like a super quick clean of this bathroom. I even need to clean the shower, but I'm just saying like, let's try to cut as many corners as I can. The goal here is just to get the bare minimum done. So we're not deep cleaning. We're not getting into every crack and crevice. We are just going to try to do like the most basic clean of this entire bathroom and the laundry room. So hoping to get that done before they get home. <sighs> All right, so some super speed cleaning. Let's do this. So I was trying something out new here with the bathroom. Well, not new, I'm sorry. I have done this before. I just don't do it very often. I told you that I really wanted to clean the shower and I didn't have a lot of time. You can see it was pretty dirty. I My goal was not to tackle the grout. It was not to scrub the grout and get this perfectly clean shower. I think sometimes you just need to go in and you need to just do like a bare minimum clean. And especially when you're cleaning your whole house, it's like everyone's limited on time. So we just need to do the bare minimum. What I was going to do was use my O-Cedar spin mop and mop the shower. And mop the showers. And it just cut down on the length of time it took me to clean. I didn't really want to bend over. I was just trying to get all of this done as quick as possible. I didn't have the time this, this week. Um, and so I think there are times where you're like, you know what, I need to just deep clean. I need to focus on one or two rooms. There's other times where you're just looking at essentially decluttering and putting things back where they go and doing a super quick clean. And the O-Cedar Spin Mop really helped. It was kind of fun as well. Just switched it up for me. So give it a try if you haven't.
right, so let's get to that high point and low point to the week. So low point. There's been a lot of things that have happened this week. Like I just said, everything's fine. Everyone's healthy. It's just been one thing after another. You know, it's hard for me sometimes because when I sit down to do these voiceovers, I will think of different things to say for the high point and the low point. And there are times where there is, say, a low point that I can't necessarily share because it doesn't just involve me. If it's something that could be I don't want to say damaging, but just it could be perceived as embarrassing to somebody else or if it's someone else's life, you know, I don't always want to share. So, oh, this is the cleaning wand, the Jaws cleaning wand um, that you can get as well from them. And so it's great to clean windows. I was cleaning my glass shower doors and it's just like a nifty little cleaning wand. I actually also use this to clean, quickly clean my backsplash in my kitchen. So it's pretty great for that. But what I was saying was, you know, I can't always share the true low points always because like I said, if it involves someone else, I don't want to embarrass my kids or my husband or family members or friends or whatever. But this week, so we were sitting there, the kids had actually finished eating before Mike and I had. So we were just sitting there, actually one of the kids was sitting there with Mike and I as we were finishing up our dinner. And all of a sudden, I kept hearing water dripping and I thought it was just something else like a Kindle was on or an iPad was on or something and I was like Mike do you hear that and he goes I do and Avery had went upstairs to take a shower because it was a later dinner she had to get started that's why she had already left the table because she had to get a shower the twins had gotten one earlier that day because they weren't in school so we heard this water dripping we go into our laundry room and it was dripping water off of the ceiling dripping water from our laundry room ceiling from the upstairs shower that's not a fun sight to see especially in a new house so i'll explain more i'll give you guys a little bit of a break so i'm not chatting your ear off i'll finish that and then we'll get to the high point So I will say it all ended up being fine. There was no damage. And what had happened was it was a total accident. Um, the shower curtain just was out a little bit and water was funneling from inside of the shower along the shower curtain into the floor. And then it dripped through the toilet, like around, we think around the base of the toilet and got down in there. And it just made, I mean, I don't understand anything about plumbing or anything like this. So I have no idea what I'm talking about, but Mike said it essentially, it was just the water was at the right place at the right time, essentially, and went down the pipes or something. And it leaked in through the light on the ceiling of the laundry room. Luckily, we caught it right away. Obviously, it was a complete accident. There was zero damage upstairs in the bathroom. Um, it's been a couple of days, and we see zero water damage. We're going to have someone come and check it out just to make for sure. But now we will certainly be making sure that we are making sure the shower curtain is in the shower. But it's scary when you see water dripping from your ceiling, for sure. So that's the low point of the week.
how cute are they? Um, all three girls actually had made up this sister squad um, handshake over the, the past weekend and they were doing that. Emery was downstairs with Mike. You know, it's interesting seeing the dynamics between all three girls. I wouldn't say that like two of them get along better than the other one. It's just like, like we all are as humans. Sometimes we're just like not in the mood to socialize. Sometimes we're not in the mood to play or whatever. So this was just Emery's time. She just wanted to chill. Didn't really want to be hanging out. So Avery was helping me clean up, but Addison said she wanted help. Addison probably I would say is out of all three kids, the one to more, more than likely ask to help me even when I didn't ask. So she had asked to help Avery clean. So they were cleaning and then they were playing as I was finishing up Avery's bathroom and Avery wanted to join in the fun. She considers wiping down her mirror fun. Um, okay, so let's talk high point to the week. I would say the ultimate high point to the week is just seeing Avery enjoy school. So the twins, as I'm filming this, well, I guess as you're seeing it on Sunday, they have not started yet. They start on Tuesday. Avery started the following past Friday, which I got a lot of questions about why they start on Friday. And they actually do a staggered start. So um, like kindergartners, freshmen, we have an intermediate school. So that's like fifth and sixth grade. So the fifth graders. And then, um, so like the first grade of every school starts before everybody else to kind of like get into the school without all of the upperclassmen. So there is a staggered start. Avery was not first in her, a first grade in her building. So she started on a Friday. And when I explained this to a lot of people, when I was getting questions, I think it made a lot more sense. So I think they kind of look at it as you go to school on Friday or the first day. The first day is just filled with so much, you know, everyone's nervous, everyone's anxious. You're just getting set up. Teachers are getting set up students are getting set up, you're working out all of the kinks. So it's almost like they go in on Friday and get all of that out of the way. And then they come home and it can kind of decompress, enjoy your weekend, and then be ready to like hit the ground running on Monday morning. And they've been doing this, the school district has been doing this for as long as I can remember. And honestly, it seems to work really well for the teachers and the students. But here I go getting long-winded with you guys. I'll talk about my high point um, more here, but ultimately I was just seeing Avery thrive in third grade and she loved her teacher in her class last year, but she says she thinks she likes it even more this year. So that makes my mama heart feel even better. So I know I've talked a lot about this, um, you know, like with the twins being four, actually almost four, four and a half, 
that it's just we're kind of in a sweet spot right now and they're also at the age where they're having fun helping me clean they love getting up and decorating their bed that's what they call it, decorating their bed it's on their chore chart and by the way those chore charts i made in last week's video if you guys missed it just go in my back to school prep video the girls are thriving with that chart they love it now i know it's the beginning of the year things could change the excitement will likely wear down but right now they love checking off their chores so it's kind of fun and here they were helping me clean up um clean up their room and then i was going to clean their bathroom and i was getting them set up in the playroom to watch a movie kind of relax a little bit and then i was going to do their bathroom think going back to my high point I think as a mom you know you send your kids off and you worry about them I mean there's a variety of things you worry about obviously their safety but also their emotional you know well-being and especially as Avery gets older she's now in third grade and I can already tell I can see some of the you know the I can see her changing already in you know little ways like things she wasn't embarrassed about before she's starting to get like a little bit more embarrassed and she doesn't like the little kid stuff she does not want an Elsa or an Anna cup, you know, because she takes a water bottle every day to school. So things like that. And I just hope as she gets older, I know it gets tough with other kids and especially girls. And, you know, you just worry because I just can't imagine, you know, you just, you just never want to see your kid upset or hurt. And so you just, you're praying that everything goes well they're treated well they treat others with kindness as well and you know all I can go off is what off of is what she tells me and she's having a great time she got off on the first day off the bus on the first day and big smile on her face and said she loved it and she's continued to love it so far so it's just it makes you feel better as a mom when your kid is when your child is thriving and and happy ultimately that's all you want is a happy child right So here I was just kind of finishing up her bathroom or their bathroom, I guess. And that's going to be it. I actually did not close out this video at all for you. So I'll just give my sign off here. You guys know what I always say. Just always want to make for sure you guys know how much I appreciate you and how much of a difference you make in my life. Um, I'm just grateful. And I, I think especially, you know, when I read through the comments on Sundays and Mondays and I get through the end and sometimes I'll tell you this I don't know what it is it must be something with the way YouTube does it which I mean it makes sense I'm sure there is a way they want to protect their creators maybe but a lot a lot of times I find that if there's any negative comments it's always at the bottom 
comments at the very bottom. So as I like get down to the bottom of the comment section, I start getting a little bit more nervous because no matter how you are, who you are, how thick of a skin you have, it's never fun to get negative comments. Um, and I will tell you that week after week, I'm just blown away by the kindness that you guys show me. And I appreciate that. So thank you for that. So I was just finishing up the office and that was going to be it. I hope you enjoyed this whole house clean with me. Thank you for sticking around to the very end. And just, I hope you have a, a wonderful, fabulous week. And just know that whatever comes your way, you got this. I know you do. Traveling kind, it's a known fact. Yeah, I know that.